うまそうだなうまい Are you strong? It's really boring when I know I'm going to win. Your greed has no limits. You never learn. Welcome back, it's Team Video Game Gnosis here with another whiskey review. Thank you for taking the time to come check out our channel where we try our best to give you guys unbiased whiskey reviews and entertain you guys with some video games. Alright, guys, so today we're going to be drinking some Glenfiddich 12 and playing some more Yakuza Zero.、Um, the reason we chose to pair Glenfiddich 12 with Yakuza Zero is, as you can see on the screen, you can order Glenfiddich 12 in the game, and the bartender's giving some facts there. I'll let you guys read that. But also,、um, this whiskey was recommended by my dad, who he's not really a whiskey drinker. He's actually a beer drinker, and he really enjoyed this whiskey. So, we're going to give it a shot today. This is a single malt scotch whiskey. It's a classic. Yeah, we hear tons of good stuff about it.、Um, now, do you want me to read off the official site first, or do you want to talk about it?、Yeah. Okay. So, I'll, I'll read off the official site here. Um, as you can see on, well, on the official site, it says,、uh, Flowing in the Valley of the Deer since 1887, our family's signature expression is the world's most awarded single malt scotch whiskey.、Um, do you want me to read the tasting notes that they gave, or you want to just.、Uh, uh, maybe we'll wait we'll on that. We'll hold off on that, okay. I'll read what's on the, the gift t i n Before you go on? Yeah. And we're bowling here with Nishi. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. That was cool. Okay, go for it. Um,. So, what they have on their tin is、um, our original 12 year old has a special place in our malt master's heart, our original and definitive whiskey, and the world's most iconic single malt. Always matured in Oloroso sherry and bourbon casks for at least 12 years, always married in oak tons for depth and balance. And a ton is just it's a really well, it's big spelled, cask. It's spelled T U N. Yeah. T O N.、So、right. It's a different type of ton. Right. Okay. And then.、Uh, Yeah, um, and then about the brand, so Valley of the Deer, Glenfiddich means Valley of the Deer in Gaelic, a Scottish valley、uh, perfect for making malts. Robbie Dew, spring, Robbie Dew Spring Water flows here, adding freshness, the backbone of our whiskey. The cool microclimate ages our malts slower, bringing depth and smoothness. All right, I'm going to go in for the nose.、Um, yeah. Also on the screen, this computer who is Nishikiyama. He was ton doing tons of gutter balls. <laughs> But anyway, onto the nose.、Um, so, I get that malt similar to like a Glen, you know, a Glen Livet 12 or. Yeah. You know, that Odi malt cereal forward. I like that note. I really like it. Yeah, I get that. I get more of a. I want to say it's not quite the word I want to use, but kind of a tartness like on the nose. That's what. I can see that. I can smell that too, yeah. I'm trying to.、Um, it's very faint though. Really, that's what's strong to me. That's what's overwhelming, yeah. For me, it's the oat, the cereal note. Really?、Yeah. That's、uh, in the background for me. I'm going to go in for the taste. Okay. But it smells nice, though. Real, for me, real、Ooh. cereal for real grain or oat malt. That, yeah. yeah. For、And、me. it has this nice, balanced, rounded spice about it. Oh, this is nice. Wow, it's really. I get why this is、yeah. a classic. I this, can see why my dad liked this.、Though. We we took a long time to get to this one, but it's, you know, you want to try a scotch. And this is a space side. And a single malt, and it's 12 years.、Um, what is the alcohol percentage on this? I want to say it was 40%. But... Yeah, 40%.、Okay. So 80 proof here.、Um, do you remember the price? Oh gosh. I'll have to think about that one. Okay. Well,、um, we'll get back to you on the price on the second half. As you can see here, I, I got a couple of strikes, <laughs> I think. Yeah, you're、uh, doing good. Yeah, it was. Well, I didn't get it. Actually, I missed a strike on that one down. Dang it. <laughs> But I did get a couple of strikes, right? Yeah, I did. Yes, you did. 
Um, this is nice. I like this. It's very balanced, indeed, as it stated, uh, you know, as they stayed on their side and on their gift tin. It's good. Yeah. I like it. I like really it. Really nice, friendly, um, well balanced, approachable single malt whiskey, Scotch whiskey, and this is only on our initial impressions. Yeah. We're not even. Yeah, we're not even finishing the review yet. Right. This is just our first initial. Um, I did want to mention for another note though. There's a bit of a fruitiness, but um. Let me go back to on the nose or taste. It's like an apple on the nose. I get it. Apple, like I a red it, yeah. apple. I can't determine if it's red or. Well, I don't know. I you guess it could right. be you like be a right. green. Then again, I have to eat more fruits. I guess, <laughs> in my diet. That is true. <laughs> it could be almost. Initially, I was getting like a red apple, but now I kind of get like a salted green apple. Okay, That's so, how I like mine. Um, initial review. Yes. What do you want to do? I'm looking. Oh. I'm thinking eight. Yeah, let's do eight. This All right, is guys. Solid. So initial review is eight for Glenfiddich Twelve, and here's some Yakuza Zero highlights. Let's go. Let Mortal Kombat begin. Strong. It's really boring when I know I'm going to win. Your greed has no limits. You never learn. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed those Yakuza Zero highlights with Kiryu Kazuma, and we're back in the game here at the. RC car um, racing place. <laughs> Trying to win some matches here. But um, you want to talk more about the whiskey? Yeah, I am really liking this. I want to say this is, well, this is definitely my favorite um, single malt whiskey that we've tried. I'm trying to remember. Which ones have we tried? Hmm. Single malts. So for single malt, um, for single malt scotch, we've tried Glenlivet 12. Right. And um, the Glen Glen Morangi 15 Cadball Estate, yeah, um, which I really enjoy. Actually, my one of my best friends had gifted me the Cadball Estate. That was nice. Yeah, so hopefully we can get in get into a review with that one day. But um, and now the Glen Fittick 12. Also, we also tried um, uh, the Busker Single Malt, which is an Irish single malt. Mm -hmm. It's not a Scotch, like the which was nice. Right, which was the former stuff we just mentioned, like a Glen of the 12 and Glen Morangi 15. But it was pretty, that, I was actually impressed by the um, Busker single malt. Yeah, I, I kind of, I like the single malt category, um, but I do want to mention, so currently, I'm, I'm liking the peated. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, I want to venture a little further into there before I quite make a statement on that. But I really like this, actually. It's not peated at all, but I, right. well, I really like this. So what are you trying to say that peated? So what is your favorite whiskey thus far? Well, I really like Connemara. Okay, so Connemara is your favorite whiskey. So you're assuming that you're most likely a peated drinker. Right. And that when we venture into Isla. Yeah, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to like probably going to like it. I think so too. And that, that's kind of my taste profile, kind of my go-to. Um, but this is really well balanced and it's really nice. Um, did you want to talk about any notes first or should I just go into what I got? Um, let me read that last thing off the official site real quick. Oh yeah, yeah. So on the official site, it's the last thing on here. It says creamy with a long, smooth and mellow finish. Our 12 year old is the perfect example of Glenn Fittick's unique space side style and is widely proclaimed the best dram in the valley. Once again, that's from glennfittick.com. Um, a dram is, uh, is that the Scottish term for a 
it's one like, ounce shot or one sorry not shot one ounce drink one ounce or two ounce drink a dram means like a drink it means like what you pour in right. a gun carrying it's like one serving one serve there you go yeah that's the the standard for any whiskey you have you have a dram okay so let's move on to what do you want to do nose taste um on the nose uh -huh. i get um i'm getting like a butterscotch it's kind of coming and going for me i pick up on that too did you get that? I did, yes. And And I wanted to say on what the reading you just said, I agree with it. It's Creamy, smooth, mellow, mellow finish. finish. Yeah. Um, right. That apple note is staying for me. I can't, I feel like it's kind of, maybe it's both. Red apples, green apples, salted green apples. So, um, Wow, okay. But yeah, what did you get? Did anything else change for you? No, I mean, basically everything you're saying, I definitely can see that. Um, I went back on the taste just now and it's very smooth. Yeah, I like, I did want to say about the taste, um, the spiciness factor, the spice is like, it's so balanced. It just, it's not going to kick you. If you want to know my strong. perspective, yeah. I barely get any spice. Really? Yeah. I really, um, that's prominent on the taste is that spice, but it's like rounded out. It's just, um, it's really strong, but it, it's not um, its not unpleasant at all. Uh, it's very pleasant. Okay, okay. Well, so far, pretty awesome single malt scotch. I mean, I, I am super happy that we got this. Mm. Uh, on to the gameplay real quick. So here's Kiryu taking on some Yakuza thugs here. <laughs> He's got no shirt on for some reason. <laughs> well, I guess we, you know, you can, when you complete the game, he has these different costume options. It's kind of <laughs> interesting to see him uh, walk around like that because he's always in his full right. suit and all decked out. All decked out, yeah. <laughs> a little funny, but um, yeah, this whiskey is really good. Very nice. Um, no doubt about it. I mean, we highly, I think we would highly recommend. Yeah, this. the price point on this, it was about forty-four dollars. We got right, it, right? Um, which is fantastic. I think yeah. this is well worth. In the whiskey world, I think this is, of what we know, that's well worth $44. This is solid. That, that's a lot coming from you. Yeah. <laughs> it is, because, because, in my opinion, Glenlivet 12 is a is a really good single malt scotch for like 30, around 30 to $35. Anyway, that's a lot coming from you. Let's wrap this up. Yeah. How high you want to jump? Ooh, what did we give it, give it an eight. Give it an eight. I want to get it higher. This is very well done. Well, give me a number. Do we want to venture in the nine territory? All right, guys. So our official VGG rating is going to be nine stars out of ten this for Glenn Fittick 12. So excellent. The highest All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.